So the last time I showed you how to create a leaderboard, you may have noticed one odd thing. This actually is not a player name. We displayed here a player ID because we don't know nicknames of our users. In this episode, we'll fix that by showing a box to enter a player's nickname and by displaying it in the leaderboard results. Let's go! So that's the scenario of this episode. At the start of the game, we log in and try to get player display name. If player already has a display name, a leaderboard should be displayed. But if display name is empty, a new input field will pop up to enter the display name and send it to PlayFab. This is our scene. I've already prepared the nickname input box, where a player will type in their display name, and here we have a leaderboard box that you've already seen in the previous videos. Let's start by checking which one of them should appear after logging in. Go to the PlayFab Manager script and here in the onlogin success, let's get the current display name of the logged in player. Type string name equals null and below that name equals result dot info request payload dot player profile dot display name. As you can see, this display name comes from the result payload. That means that we need to explicitly request that data while calling a login request. So here in the login method, just below the create account property, type info request parameters equals new get player combined info request params. Open brackets. Here we can request all kinds of stuff like player data, title data, and more. In this case, we like to get player profile, so just type get player profile equals true. One last thing before we can go further. When I hover on the player profile, you can see an information that you won't get it for the newly registered player. To make sure our game won't crash, create on top of it a simple if statement. If result.info result payload dot player profile is not equal to null. Great! Remember that you can get source files for all PlayFab tutorials by supporting me on the Patreon, link in the description. So now, we only need to specify which game objects should be enabled depending on the name. Here, at the top, I've created two game objects that are connected to the windows I've showed you before. So type if name equals to null then name window that set active true else leaderboard window that set active true okay time to test it out i'll be logging in as a new player that don't have any display name yet start the game and after a second of logging in you should see the enter username box great but it doesn't do anything yet so time to fix it Let's quickly add an option to update your display name. Here I have a method that will be triggered on pressing submit button. Inside of it, let's create a new request. Type va request equals new update user title display name request. Open brackets. And here we only need to specify the new name. Display name equals name input dot text which is linked to our input box. Then make a call. Type PlayFab client API dot update user title display name and pass in request on display name update. This is a result method prepared based on the template we always use in the PlayFab and of course on error. Finally, we'd like to open leaderboard screen when a player has a display name, right? So here in the on display name update, type leaderboard window dot set active true. Great, time to check Unity. I will run the game and of course we can see this enter username window at start. I will just type my nickname, submit it and here is our leaderboard. I will click get leaderboard button and oh we forgot to show display name instead of playfab ID. In the script where we spawn rows, simply instead of PlayFab ID, type display name. Now let's run it again. This time we'll go straight to the leaderboard because we already have a display name. When I click a get leaderboard button, 
we can see nicknames instead of IDs, and I can even send some random score to populate our leaderboard. So that's it. Thanks to my awesome patron that supports this channel. Be sure to check out my other videos about PlayFab and Unity UI. See you soon.